So, Michael, I want to try to convince you, other than the fact that it's an algorithm with symbols, that uh, it sort of works, um, at least informally. And then I'm going to do what I always do and refer you to actually read the, the, the text to get the, the details. But before I do that, I wanted to go through an example, if you think that would help. I would like an example. Okay, so let's go through an example. So here's a very simple example. So I've got three little boxes on the screen. Can you see them? Yeah. Now, they're the same boxes. I've, I've drawn them up here beforehand because I'm going to solve this problem in only three steps. Hey, those boxes are really nice. Did you get help from our trusty course developer? I did, in fact, get help from our trusty uh, course developer. And when I say help, I mean he did this. Oh, thanks, Pushkar. Yes, Pushkar is wonderful. Now, what's really cool uh, about this is that Pushkar has already let you know that we're going to be able to do this in three simple steps. Um, and I'm going to be able to animate it or at least hopefully it'll look animated by the time <laughs> we're done with all of the editing. So just pay attention to the first box for now. You have a bunch of data points, red pluses and green minuses, which is the opposite of what we usually do push car. But anyway, it's red pluses <laughs> and green minuses um, uh, with the appropriate labels, and they all live in this, this um, part of the plane. By the way, what do you call a part of a plane? I know you, you have line segments. What's like a sub part of a plane? Looks like a square to me. Yes, it is, but I mean, what do you call them? You, you don't call it a plane segment, do you? What do you call it? A region? A square region, fine. So it's a square region on a plane, and uh, we want to figure out how to be able to correctly classify these examples. Okay, so that's nothing new there. We just want to be able to come up with something. So now we have to do what we did like in the quiz, is we have to specify what our hypothesis space is. So here's our hypothesis space. So the hypothesis space is the set of axis-aligned semiplanes. You know what that means? No. Well, for the purpose of this example, it means I'm going to draw a line, either horizontal or vertical, and say that everything on one side of that line is positive and everything on the other side of that line is negative. I see. Okay, good. Right. And they're axis-aligned because it's only horizontal and vertical, and they're semiplanes because the positive part of it is only in part of the plane. Okay. So I'm going to just walk through what boosting uh, would end up doing uh, with this particular example, or what a boosting might do with this particular example, given that you have a learner that always chooses between uh, axis-aligned semiplanes. OK? Yeah. So let's imagine we uh, ran our boosting algorithm. Now, in the beginning, at step one, all of the examples look the same, right? Because we have no particular reason to say any are more important than the other, any are easier or harder than the other. Um, and that's just the algorithm that we had before. We run through and we ask our learner to return some hypothesis that does well in classifying the examples. And it turns out that though there are many, and in fact there's an infinite number of possible hypotheses you could return, um, one that works really well is one that looks like a vertical line that separates the first two data points from the rest. That was what I was guessing. Of course it was. Um, and what I'm saying here is that everything to the left of this line is going to be positive and everything to the right is going to be negative. So if you look at this, what does this hypothesis do? So it gets correct, uh, correctly labeled positive, the two pluses to the left, right? Correct. Uh, and it gets correct all of the minuses as well. Correct. Right? But it gets wrong the three pluses on the right side. So it gets this wrong, this wrong, and this wrong. Right, the three plus plusketeers. Exactly. So <laughs> the three plus plusketeers. Uh, that's actually pretty good. So uh, I'm just, I'm just going to ask you to trust me here, but it turns out that the uh, specific error here is 0.3. Um, and if you stick that into our little alpha, you end up, our, little, our little formula for alpha, you end up with alpha equal to 0.42. That's not obvious to me, but is it? See, 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 it's not always obvious. Okay, good. So there you go. And that's just what happens when you stick this particular uh, set in there. So now we're going to construct the next distribution, right? And what's going to happen in the next distribution? So the ones that it got right should get less weight, and the ones that it got wrong should get more weight. So those the three plus plusketeers should become more prominent somehow. That's exactly what happens. They become. I'm just going to draw them as much thicker and bigger to kind of emphasize that they're getting bigger. Um, and it's going to turn out that everything else is going to get smaller, which is a lot harder to draw here. Um, so I'm just going to kind of leave them their size. So they sort of get normalized away. OK? I have a guess as to what the next plane should be. I think that we should cut it 
underneath those pluses but above the green minuses. And that should get us three errors. The two pluses on the left and the minus on the top will be wrong, but they have less weight than the three pluses we got right, so this is gonna be better than the previous one. So that's possibly true, but it's not what the learner output. Oh. Let me tell you what the learner did output, though. This learner output, by putting a line to the right of the three pluses, because it's gotta get those right, and saying that everything to the left is in fact positive. So does that seem like a reasonable one to you? Well, it does better than a half. I guess that's really all we're trying to do, but it, it does seem to do worse than what I suggested. Well, let's see. It gets the three that mattered, um, that you were really, really doing poorly right, but then so did yours. Uh, and it only, it, it picks up still the other two, which it was getting right, and it gets wrong these three minuses with, which aren't worth so much. So is that worse than what you suggested? No, it gets wrong. Oh, the three minuses. Oh, it gets correct, those two red pluses on the left. So it yeah. gets three things wrong. So that's just as good as what I suggested. Okay, I agree. Okay, good. So the error at this step, by the way, turns out to be 0.21. And the alpha at this time step turns out to be 0.65. So that's pretty interesting. So we've got um, a, bunch of, a bunch of these right and a bunch of these wrong. What's going to happen to the distribution over these examples? All right, the ones that it, again, the ones that it got wrong should get pushed up in weight. And which ones are those? Those are the, the three green minuses in the middle patch. Right. Should, they should become more prominent. The pluses, the three the three plus plusketeers should become less prominent than they were, but it still might be more prominent than they were in the beginning. It might be, because um, in fact the alpha, let's see, the alpha is bigger. So it will have actually a bigger um, effect on bringing it down. Yeah, I guess so, but it, they'll still be more prominent than the other ones that haven't been bumped. Up. Yeah, the ones that you've the two the two red pluses on the left have you've never gotten them wrong, mm. so they're really going to disappear. So if we do if I do my best to if I do my best to kind of draw that, um, you're still you're going to have these pluses are going to be a little bit bigger than the other pluses, but they're going to be smaller than they were before. The two the three greens in the middle are going to be bigger than they were before, but those two pluses are going to be even smaller, and these two minuses are going to be smaller. So what do you think the third hypothesis should be? Quiz. Oh, I like that. 